Hello everybody again. Uh, I know it's been a while since I posted a tutorial, but who really cares? Um, today I'm going to be showing you scripted sequences which uh, allow you to move characters. Also scripted sentences which allow you to make characters talk. And I had a mini, mini, it wasn't even a tutorial, I just put a scripted sequence in my multi managers tutorial just to for an example or for something. Alright, well, let's, let's get it started. Alright, um, first we'll start off with the scripted sequence. Sorry if you keep getting breaths it's from my nose. Alright, scripted sentences. Let's just make a super quick room. I've got some nice textures in here too, so. like I don't know I don't care about the dimensions right now I really don't but when you are mapping and you're like you know making it all professional and whatnot dimensions are important I don't know if I keep breathing or not into the mic and it's loud I don't know all right that player starts just for reference on how big the that block is. Got an idea of what to do. It's just like a little building and guy walks around the corner. Let me get some good textures here. Nice brick concrete there. Fifty-six. It's kind of big. No, that also has to be point fifty. And by the way, to make duplicates of something, hold shift and click and drag. I don't know if I already told you that. Sorry if I don't talk during the tutorial. I'm building a room. So what, what we're going to have set up here is just Barney walks around the corner right here when you pass a certain point. Sucks being on a time limit because you can't do what you want in the amount of time that you have. So you have to make two parters, and nobody really likes that. So, yeah, help me get some views, become a partner, and I don't know how long videos can be, but longer than 10 minutes. Now, let's quickly make an ending wall. and an ending wall for this. This looks like it's going to be an outside environment. So, I'm just going to uh, be lazy with the sky here. And, uh, and not have it stand up. I'm just going to put it straight over. So, like, if you threw a grenade, it would, like, flush out of the map right as it hit the ceiling and at a light environment I hope my breathing isn't a distraction to your learning okay now let's just set up a spot in the map that we will know when we pass which will trigger the trigger 
I'm just gonna put something down that you can walk over so we know when when we step over that the trigger will be triggered and Barney will come running across yeah I'm gonna make him running control T trigger once target Barney run alright that is the actual trigger and Barney run will be the name of this scripted scripted sequence I just placed no the scripted sequence has to uh, be where you want him to end up uh, alt enter for some properties name Barney run they come look that way so he looks at Gordon 180 flags um no interruptions I guess and leave corpse and no script move I guess oh yeah and whenever you go into the flags after this has been set it resets so move to position run search radius um you can leave that action animation action animation is an animation that he will do when he reaches that point like he could do an intro button which would be him pushing a button now we don't well Barney talk Barney talk which will be our scripted sentence target monster will be Barney out of Barney monster Barney And a scripted sentence can be anywhere in the map. It's just nice to keep it where he is. So you can, you know. Let's gag him for now. Wait for script. No, no, no. We don't have to. Pre-disaster. No, 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 no. Her name Barney. Uh, that's it. Now... The scripted, se scripted sequence name is run. That will target Barney run. Barney run will be activated. Barney will run over to that spot. And Barney talk, which will be our scripted sentence, will have to have Barney say something. Don't worry about these icons that I have in Hammer. Yours won't look like that, but uh, it came with Hammer 3.5 thing. Fire once interrupt speech. Now this will be Barney talk. We don't need a target because nothing's coming after. Delay before trigger zero sentence name. I'll show you how to get that. Let's just speaker type. That will be Barney. S listener type. That will be who Barney looks at when he talks. So if you type player, he will look at you. Now the only thing you're missing is a sentence name. And to get that sentence name, uh, you're going to have to extract your Half-Life GCF file, or if you have the WAN version, it should be in sound slash sentences. Usually it's in the PAK, PAK, PAK file pack for WAN. Alright, let's search for Barney. Here we go, Barney sentences. Um, let's do a big one. Uh, Um, surface. See how it's B A underscore surface. Now, sentence name. Put an exclamation point. B A underscore surface. And it does have to be capital. And you cannot have the sentence start with a number. I had to learn that the hard way. And Barney talk. And that should be it. Uh, if there's any mistakes that I made, we will see them when we get in game so um, I'm gonna compile this I hope I didn't mess everything up there I'm gonna compile this run map f9 um, oh yeah I gotta save it so hammer maps scripted sequence scripted sentence tutorial normal 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 
All right, I will catch you learners in game. Hey, don't count on the cavalry finding us down here. Head for the surface.